much time do you think you would want or need to make a decision about next year? Oh, man. I'm, I'm not even thinking about that right now. I'm just, uh, season's ended. You know, obviously it wasn't the way we wanted to end it. Been here with my teammates. Um, you know, it's always a tough time of year. Um, you, put, you put so much into the season. So, you know, obviously you're ready to get home and get with, with your family and be able to spend more time with them. But then you also are, you know, parting ways with friends that you've spent a lot of time with over the last six months. So um, it's always one of those bittersweet moments, you know. But I'm ready to go home and be with my wife, be with my kids, and kind of take a break from uh, from the season. And we'll see what happens. You look at the, the wins you had and, and some of the quality wins against good teams, you wonder why you couldn't have done it more often? Yeah, I mean, you know, we we definitely we definitely um, had some big wins, you know, and I mean, six and ten, you know, four or five plays here or there, we could easily be ten and six in the, in the playoffs, you know, and give ourselves a shot at the – at the Super Bowl, but you know that's what happens. That's the that's the course of the NFL season. You got to play consistent every week. You got to play smart. You know you got to make you got to make big plays in, in big games. And a lot of games are separated by one or two plays. Um, and this year we were on the on the losing end of those games, and that's why we're here. Do you think is the season went on, guys, especially on defense, got more comfortable with Patricia and what he was doing night and day from the beginning of the year to the end, or, or how would you describe it? Uh, I mean, I think I just think the longer you go in the season, guys learn more. You get more reps. Um, you get more in-game interaction. You know, so much put into, like, practice, and practice is great. You know, you have to practice. You have to work on those things. To, to get better, but it's a difference when you're in the game and like you got to be able to adjust. You got to be able to understand what they're trying to do. You got to be able to flip the switch. And I think as the season went on, guys got way more comfortable understanding language, understanding all the th different things that we can do inside the system. Um, and you know, we did a great job stopping the run down the stretch. And like I always tell you guys, if you can stop the run, you give yourself a chance. And we were able to stop the run, so that helped us in other facets of the game. So I definitely think, um, you know, over the last half of the season, we played pretty solid defensive football. Um, and that's just, like I said, getting familiar with the system, getting more game reps with each other, um, more experience. And, and, and Glover, how would you assess your individual performance as compared to years past? Well, I mean, obviously, if you look at the stats, you know, I, you could say that I didn't have as good of a year as I, I normally have. I don't think I had a turnover this year. Um, you know, missed some tackles that probably should have made help us out. You know, but that's football. You know, that's football. That's that's a game that we play. That's a game that we sign up for every year. It's not going to be the same. Um, every year is not going to be as great as you probably want or as bad as you think it, it was, um, you know. But for me, from my standards, I would say it probably was a, it was a down year for me. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't contribute and have the team on the field as much as I would like. Why do you think it was a down year transition in coaches, or is it? Uh, I mean, I'm not going to or... put anything on the coaches. I'm the one out there playing the game. I meant more like the systems and the schemes. I mean, I'm not going to, I'm not going to put anything on that either, you know. At some point, you know, there, there was plays out there that I could have made that I didn't make. Um, you know, like I said, I'm the one on the field. I'm the one playing the game. So um, anything that has to do with performance, you know, I don't ever look for a coach to take a scapegoat. Like, you know, some things that I'm stand the one out, out there playing. That, uh, coach Patricia did well in his first year here in terms of some behind the scenes and things that we wouldn't know about. Uh, I'll leave that. I'll leave that to us. How confident are you, though, that you, know, you can get back to maybe you know, the, the level you were before this year? You know, if this was a down year, if you want to keep going, how confident are you you can get back to you know, having a, an up year, I guess? I mean, every year it just, it just varies, you know. Mm -hmm. 
some years are a great year, some years are not so great years. That's, that's just, that's football. It's just, you know, and for a lot of people in this league, the year that I had probably was a great year. But once you set a bar and you set a standard for who you are, what you like to do, what you can do, then that's where you're judged off of. I mean, it's probably tons of safeties out there that were like, man, I wish I would have had the year that he had. Yeah. You know? Sure. But for me, for my standard and what I like to do, I would say this was a, this was a down year. Mm -hmm. But there were plays that, you know, and like I said, for me, the only difference in this year and in the other years has been the turnover numbers. I mean, my tackles, I had 70 plus tackles. That's been pretty consistent over the last six years. It's really just the turnover numbers. And, you know, I could think back to probably three, four, maybe five plays where, you know, I could have I could have had a turnover and I didn't I didn't make the play. So I put that on myself. That uh, near pick in Buffalo, does that one stick with you now that you think about not yeah. getting a turnover I mean, this year? Yeah, that could have been one, you know. You think you were in on that one? Yeah, I didn't think I was in. I think the question was whether I think the question was whether I catch the ball if the ball moved, but I mean that's you know that's over with. But I think that's the biggest thing, you know, and I've said that in the past, you know. The only difference in a season from year to year is really turnovers. I mean, there's been plenty of seasons where I had 70, 80 plus turnovers, and it's the only time I made the Pro Bowl was when I had, I led the league in picks. You know, last year I had three interceptions, four forced fumbles, like a super solid year, but I didn't lead the league in picks. So. It's really based off turnovers, and this year I didn't have any. So, you know, as a, as a secondary guy, you go a whole season and, and you don't force any turnovers. It's, you know, for me, it's a down year.